So in 2022, there was this situation where I lost pretty much everything within about a period of a week. And it was incredibly painful because six months prior to that, I was making anywhere between five and eight grand a month. It was somewhere in that region. And basically it was a nice life, steady income. I'd finally moved out, got myself an apartment. I was going to go monk mode. I was going to grow my business. I was going to start a new business, which is the one that I have now alongside my SMMA, my social media marketing agency. And what happened was, is I effectively just crashed, crashed and burned because I thought that I could run two businesses. I thought that I could be committed to two causes and have two different operations on the go. And what this caused was not only for it to like crash and burn, but it actually halted the progress I could have been making in the business that I have today. Because this, this is the lesson, right? As soon as I did quit the SMMA, as soon as everything did go to shit with that, within three months, I was back to doing five grand a month consistently. And I was more cash rich than ever because I was spending less money on you know freelancers and ads and all of the other stuff that I was doing for the SMMA stuff and softwares and whatever. And I was able to have more money for myself with better clients. Another three months down the line, I actually managed to hit my first $10,000 a month within that business. And um, that was a really good feeling. Like, like That was the first time that I had officially made $10,000 from like one business. I'd done it in the past within a month, you know, through different sources of income and, you know, pulling money from here and there to, to make it happen and to come up with the numbers and to f fuel my ego, essentially. Like, you know, I was pulling money out of crypto, taking profits here and there and whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't great. But the first time that I'd ever made like, you know, in one round, one round number on the, on the KPI sheet, I could see $10,000 from one business. There was no other distractions. There was nothing that could take it away from me. There was nothing that was going to crash and burn from there. Now, what I learned from this experience and what it actually told me about myself, it's not that, you know, I, I was, there, there's some like r really profound revelation that happened during this period. But what I did come to realize was that you, I can just, I can burn down at any point. I can burn down at any point and I know that I can get back to about five grand a month within an online coaching business or an online business relatively fast because of the skills that I've built up. You see, that wasn't the first time that I'd crashed and burned. I'd crashed and burned probably on a monthly basis for the past, like, I don't know, two or three years at that point. Like every, everybody comes into entrepreneurship and it's like, oh, I can't afford that thing or oh, I've lost money or that client didn't sign up. And they will quit or they will think this isn't for me. This is hard. Like maybe I should go and do something else. And on like being successful in entrepreneurship is literally just a game of like stoicism, basically, and actually just not bitching out when something like that happens. You, you've got to take these things on the chin. You've got to take these punches. And that's how I eventually got to the point where I could crash and burn and make five grand a month, you know, in, in a few months. And I, I just believe that I'll be able to do that forever. And to be honest, now like that I've got to 10 grand a month, I wonder if this crash and, crashed and burned, which could only be caused by distractions, which it, is just out of the question at this point. Um, I wonder if I'd just be able to build something back up to 10 grand a month. Yeah. So anyway, the, I, this was just kind of a quick video. I wanted to tell you that story. Hope that it was helpful. Hope that it slapped you in the face and said, get back to work and keep working on your business. I'll see you in the next.